Hi all, it's Kat here from Epoxy Designs UK. Welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be showing you a coffee table restoration project. We've had a couple of coffee tables in our garage now for about three months and never got around to uh, doing them. So finally we have time now for these bigger jobs. So I'm really excited to um, start on this project and I really hope you enjoy the video. So this is the tabletop we will be coating with resin and we sanded the tabletop and cleaned any dust off the top and we will be using the Laurie Chart resin again. Now I'm just taping off the sides of the table uh, because I don't want any resin to drip over the sides and get stuck to the sides and I will be applying the Leyland acrylic primer again. So this is just layer one and I'm helping the drying process with the heat gun and applying a second layer. And again, just speeding up the drying process with the heat gun. Now before I apply resin, I am just getting my acrylic paints out and I will be doing a sketch of the seascape onto the board. It, it will just help me to know where to add my resin colours. So I will just leave you enjoy the painting, painting process for a bit. Okay, once my acrylic uh, painting is dry, I am starting to mix up my resin. And after it's all mixed up, I'm just adding my colorants. Uh, so I'm using the um, acrylic inks and some pigment powders as well. I will add all the links to the description again. making sure my tabletop is level before we put the resin down and just drying out um, some last wet spots uh, with my heat gun okay and now I'm starting to apply the first layer of resin and I'll leave you to enjoy that for a bit So once all my colours are on the board, I'm using a palette knife just to blend them um, a bit together and just spread them around so I don't have any uh, empty spots. And then just using a heat gun to blend the colours a little bit more together. And to finish off the first layer, 
I will be adding a bit of white um, just to make the illusion of waves. So just adding some white um, to the surface and blowing it out with my heat gun. And again blowing it out gently with the heat gun to create some wave effects. And just using my blowtorch to pop any bubbles. And I'm just putting some cups down around the tabletop uh, for my card cardboard which I've laid on top of the table until the morning but unfortunately didn't record it so this is the next day and I'm just mixing up uh, some resin again for second layer and just separating the resin into different cups ready to be colored And again, I'm using the same colors, and it's a mixture of inks and makeup powders. And just following the same pattern as the day before. And spreading the resin with my palette knife. Once all the colors are uh, poured out onto the board, I'm just gently popping some bubbles and again blending the colors with my heat gun. Now I'm just adding a bit of clear around the areas where I want my waves to be. Uh, the clear just helps the white to spread a little bit and create some cells. So once I have the clear down, I'll put a, stri a stripe of white on top of it and blow it out again with my heat gun. Now for the second layer, I've put the flat uh, nozzle on the heat gun 
I don't actually know if it's better than just having it without. I don't think I will use it again. I'll just use it without the nozzle. It was just a little bit harder to blow out the white for some reason with this nozzle on. I'm just creating my wave effect in the areas where I put a clear. Just adding some more white for more defined waves. And here you can see at the end um, of putting all the colors down, I'm just covering up um, the artwork with some cardboard. And the next day, I'm just taking off the tape. Now, I did heat up the tape a little bit with my heat gun before peeling it off, it just helps to soften the resin. And we're just sending down the table just to make it extra shiny. Um, and after it's sanded, it, it, uh, it got polished. And here's the finished product. And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching.